Hello, you're highly welcome. Yeah, I promised I'm going to solve the um, a question under the FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average with two different methods. Though there are different methods in solving, and I'm going to solve these two methods so that despite your school, Unilag, Laspotech, Yabatech, and whatever institution you attend, you will definitely fall to one of these and answering questions, either in your examinations or in the test. So, watch this video, take your time to see the steps and the procedures, all right? Then in the next video, you will also see the process and the steps that I'm going to take to solve the questions. Meanwhile, I will recommend you watch carefully and write out everything necessary in this video because this video will help you understand the next format very well, okay? Yeah, thank you. So let's proceed. It says for the six months ended 30th January, or sorry, 30th June 2015, South Study Nigeria provides you with the information below with an opening balance, we have an opening balance here, an opening balance of 500 units valued at 70 Naira each, okay? From the introductory video rather, I've explained to us how we go about this. So, first of all, remember your table. If you don't know how to present this table, you will definitely find it difficult to answer a question. Now, irrespective of the, irrespective of the format you are going to make use of, either this format or the next format you will see in the next video, the table remains the same. Do some persons add another rule for the particulars, where they now write record received, issued, and so on and so forth. However you go about it, you will derive at the final answer. But the table remains this way. You have the receipts, the issues, and the balance. Then the quantity, unit, price, and amount. Quantity, unit, price, and amount. Quantity, unit, price, and amount. You can see the way I differentiated with a thick line. All right? With a double line to show that this is for the receipts, this is for issues, and this is for balance, okay? So you won't get confused in the exam hall. So, for the six months ended 30th June and so on and so forth, as you can read, it says we show the letter card using the first in, first out method. So, let us proceed. What is our date? Now, the opening balance always goes directly to the final entry. So, take good note of that. So, for the opening balance, we have January as our first date. All right, this is January here, so we we'll use it to value this, okay? So, it goes direct to the balance. And how much do we have there? We have 500 units at 70 Naira, right? So, 500 times 70 gives us what? 35,000, okay? 35,000. So, this is it about the first one. You can see we've recorded the first entry. This is the first transaction. You rule. We are done with this, okay? So we'll move over to the next one now, coming to the table now. Remember, we we'll have January, February, March, April, May, and June. That is the way you take to answer this question. Don't answer January, don't solve for January, you move over to March, okay? You will get it wrong. Observe the dates. It is very, very important. Observe the dates. So, January, February, March, April, May, and June. So let us proceed. We we'll have January there. So, and this is a receipt section, quantity bought, received, quantity sold is issued, right? So, we have 500 at 74. The quantity is 500. The unit price is 74. So, 500 times 74 gives us what? 37,000. So, we have 37,000 here, okay? Now, come back to the issue section, we have no transaction. So, Remember I told us that every transaction we have both under the receipt and the issues is going to be balanced, okay? So, we are going to have what? We bring down this balance first of all. This balance we have here, the previous balance, we bring it down. So, we have 500, we have 70, and we have what? 35,000. This balance is what we brought down. Now, the transaction we have is for what? January, we'll now bring this one over to add it up. So we have 500, we have 74, and we have 37,000. Now, watch again. We'll add these two, and we'll add these two. We don't add this. So what do we have here? 1,000, okay? And what do we have here? 72,000. So, 72,000 divided by 1,000 gives us what? 70. We are done with this. So we rule again. We are done with this transaction. Okay? 
We saw the way we go about it. Watch the next one. Then for February, for February, we have what? Quantity sold 70, 700 rather. Please, take good note of this selling price. You don't need it. Alright? We don't make use of it. In some questions, it might be given. In some questions, it might not be given. You will only use this value when you are to show for a gross profit. So it only determines on the question. Now, this question said you should just solve for the first in, first out method. Alright? So we don't need this. Alright? So for February, we we'll have what? 500. Nothing here. Then we we'll have what? 500. Okay? But the way we go about it, now they said the first in, first out, right? Which means the money that came in first will go out first. Now, what are we trying to value here? 700, right? And the first entry we had was 500. 500 units can't clean, can, can't subtract 700, right? But it can only make some parts payment, isn't it? So what we'll do is this. This 500, which is the first entry we have, we are going to pick this value. And we're going to value it with 70, which gives us what? 35,000. Okay? It gives us 35,000, right? Now, remember, we are told that it's 700 units. So we still need 200 units. Now, when we come over to this next entry, which is 500, we'll now subtract 200. So when we subtract 200, we'll be left with what here? 300 units. Okay? So when we pick the 200, which is 200 now, We'll now pick the unit price, which is 74. We'll now multiply these two values. 200 times 74 gives us 14,800. You now add it up. 500 plus 200 is 700. Please don't add up the unit cost. Then 35,000 plus 14,000 is 49,800. Okay? So this value divided by this gives us 71.1. Please remember. Once the receipt transaction is coming over to the balance, we add it up. So it is always added, all right? Once the issues is going to over to this side, we subtract. So we bring down this balance again, 1,070 and 72,000, all right? You understood what we did. Here, we brought down the balance here. At this section, we also brought down this balance, okay? So what do we have here? 700. We have 700, we have 71.1, and we have 49,800. So, remember, this transaction is for the issues, okay? So, we are going to subtract. 100 minus 700 is 300. We'll come over to this section. 72,000 minus 49,800 gives us 22,200. Now, 22,200 minus, sorry, divided by 300 gives us what 74 okay so we are good with this we rule again all right we'll go with this we'll rule again so understand the concept now let us come over to the next which is match so we have match and for match what do we have 450 at 77 we have 450 and we have 77. So 450 times 77 gives us what? 34,650. 34,650. So coming to the balance section, we'll bring down this balance again as we have always done. We'll bring it down. We'll have 22,200. We'll have 74. And we'll have 300. Okay? Now, you now bring all this balance all over to add it up again. Here we have 450, we have 77, and we have 34,650. So, let's add these two values. These two values here gives us what? 750. And these two values gives us what? 56,850. Okay? So, 56,850 divided by 750 gives us 75. Point eight. You can also say 76. So we are done with this. Okay? So this is just the process. So we continue that way. We'll continue. Now let us come over to the next date, which is April. April. 
So for April, we have 500 quantities sold. So there will be no transaction recorded here. Now, issues, 500, right? Okay. So we'll now look again. Which is the next entry? Remember, from here, we've collected the value we needed, 200. We have a balance of 200, of 300, rather. And we need what? 500 quantity. So you record this 300 with the unit price. We have 300, and we'll pick the unit cost, which is 74. So we'll multiply the both of them, and it gives us what? 22,200, okay? We still need 200 because the question said it's 500, all right? So what we do, we have exhausted the money we have here. Remember, just like here as well, we've exhausted this already. So the next entry we had was what? 450. We've collected 300 and we need 200. So from here, we're going to pick 200. When we subtract 200 from here, we'll have a balance of what? 250 left. So we have 200. This 200 which we collected, we'll now use this unit price to value it. So we have 77. 200 times 77 gives us 15,400. 15,400. Then we'll add up these two values. We'll have 500 here. You can see this 500 is the same that the question told us as the quantity sold. Now we'll add up these two values. It gives us what? 37,600. So, 37,600 divided by this gives us 75.2. 75.2. We'll now come over to the next transaction, which is the balance section. Because every transaction under the receipt and the issues must be balanced. It must come over to the last section. It must be balanced. So, what do we do? Well, first of all, we bring down this balance again. Alright? So, we have what? 750. We have 75.8. And we have 56,850. We'll bring this. We'll have 500. We'll have 75.2. And we'll have 37,600. So, because it is coming from the issues, we are going to subtract. All right? So, to subtract 750 minus 500, we'll have 250. 56,850 minus 37,600, we'll have 19,250. So 19,250 divided by 2,250 gives us what? 77. 77. So we are done with this as well. All right? We are done with this, April. So move over to the next one, which is what? May. May. And the transaction there says quantity bought 750 at 79. So we have 750 and we have 79. 750 times 79, 750 times 79, it gives us what? 59,250. 59,250. So, we'll move again. We'll come over to this section. You bring this one down first. We'll have what? 250. We'll have what? 77. And we'll have what? 19,250. Okay? So, we'll now bring up this value. 750, 79, and 59,250. So we we'll add it up. This two value gives us 1,000. And this two value gives us 78,500. So 78,500 divided by this gives us 78.5. And we are done with May. Okay? We are done with this. So we we'll now come over to the last transaction, which is in June. So we have June. And June will have 800 as a quantity sold. Please remember I told you we don't make use of this. This question gave it to us. In some questions, it wouldn't even give it to you at all. When a question gives you the selling price under the issues, you don't make use of it. It's just to confuse you. To know if you really understand the question or the topic very well, okay? So you don't make use of it. The only time you make use of it is when you read through the question and it tells you to show the gross profit, all right? In the next, in the subsequent video, you will see an example that has to do with that, okay? So, to solve for June, we we'll pick 800 as well. So there will be no transaction here, right? So we need 800. Now, how much is the balance we have here? 250. We'll pick 250. I will now pick the unit price of 250, which is 77. So we we'll multiply 250 times 77, it gives us 19,000, 
250. So, remember, 800, it means we still need 550 units. So, we'll not come over, we've exhausted this. So, we need 550. If we subtract 550, we'll be left with what? 200, right? So, we'll have 550 here. 550, we'll pick the unit price, which is 79. So, 550 times 79 gives us 43,450. So, we add up these two values. When we add these two values, what do we have? Here we have 800. Just like the question demanded, 800. Okay? Then when we add up these two values, we have 62,700. 62,700. So, 62,700 divided by 800 gives us 78.4. We'll now come over to this section. Remember as well, you bring down your previous balance, okay? So when we bring down this previous balance, we have what? 78,500, we have what? 78.5, and we have what? 1,000. So what is the next transaction then? We have 800, we have 78.4, and we have 62,700. So what are we doing? Are we going to add or are we going to subtract? We're going to subtract because it is under the issues section. So 100, 1,000 minus 800 gives us 200. 78,500 minus 62,700 gives us what? 15,800. So 158 divided by 200, 200 gives us what? 79. Now, to confirm if you are correct or not, it applies to every form of question under the FIFO, LIFO, and the weighted average. Now, what is the, 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 the balance we have here on the units? We have 200 units here, right? So, 200 units to be multiplied by 79, it must give you 15,800. If it doesn't give you the same value, then you've made a mistake somewhere. So, my good friends, this is the first way or one of the methods using seven questions under the FIFO, LIFO, and the weighted average. Watch the next three videos I have for you. The first one under the FIFO using the same question. The next one, FIFO using the same, uh, LIFO rather, and the third one, weighted average. And in that question, we are asked to show the profit accounts, the trading accounts, to ascertain the gross profit. So, Try as much as you can to follow the steps, to follow the procedures, and you'll definitely understand any form of questions under the material pricing, FIFO, LIFO, weighted average, specifically. Thanks for your time, and do have a good day. If you have questions or you need clarification, you always send us a mail, helpingstudent70 at gmail.com. We are there for you 24-7. Do have a wonderful day. Goodbye.